and welcome back. Um, this is episode 17. So, I put a few more chickens in here. <coughs> or I, you know, bred the chickens a few times. And this seems to be plenty for whatever I could want. Because usually I just pick up the eggs, and I've actually gotten a lot of eggs. But, um, usually I can just walk over here at any time and pick up, like, three. And especially with the water, it makes it really easy to get all the eggs. And, let's see, I, I want to breed those. Do I have any wheat? Yes, I do. Cow? There you go. Make babies. There you go. Um, I don't really want to breed the chickens. I don't I don't, wanna, I don't like killing the chickens, because they, um... I, I put up a double thing, because they I was afraid they were going to get out. Because they were all jumping, and they all crowded around this corner. But by doing this, it seems that they've kind of stayed back. That might just be because there's a large line of chickens now. but And the mushroom farm is working alright. Um, I came back up from trying to find the uh, the spawners and there were those three mushrooms in there, so I thought that was cool. Um, let's see, what do I have? I have almost two stacks of iron blocks, which is almost 18 stacks of iron. So that would be probably filled from this corner all the way through here, and then up here, and all the way through there of iron block of iron stacks. So that's cool. <laughs> um, I've got 28 diamonds, which is a lot. <laughs> I could make diamond armor, but I'm definitely not going to. Not until I get like 50 diamonds, because that's just I don't know. Maybe iron is much more useful now, but I don't know. Um, so I am going to go down to the spawner, and I've made a bunch of signs. I don't really know why. Um, I thought it would be a good idea. I, I don't know. <laughs> I figured I'd use them to say, like, hey, you know, this is this way, and this is this way, because there are a lot of different paths that I haven't blocked off, um, for various reasons, <clears throat> and none of them really say why, so every time I go down I have to check each path to see if, well I suppose I don't really need to search anymore because I found my spawners, but, um, you know. So yeah, I'm just going to follow the tracks. Yeah, I've picked up a bunch of tracks when I was, um, exploring the, <coughs> excuse me, while I was exploring the, uh, abandoned mine. So I figured I'd just use them. <laughs> I don't know the way there. Um, I figured I'd just use them as a as a path, so I could find my way. Since you know they're, I'm not gonna find them here naturally. It's not like you know cobblestone I I find because I've put it all over the place, but rails they're kind of unique. So, um, seemed like a good idea. I stand by my decision. So, it's really not that far away from my base, like, I, oop, fell in a hole. I feel like I could, if I wanted to, probably make a much faster path. I just need to know where I am in relation to, um, my base, you know? Um, <coughs> okay. <coughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why, but my throat is just bothering me today. Um, okay. Let's see. I don't know why I came down here. <laughs> Cause Oh, I'll I'll see if I can get started on that experience spawn or that experience trap. Um, I want all of this. No. No. Torch, get back. That scared me. I mean, I could take on a few spiders, no problem, especially because I've got full health and, um, or full hunger. And, um, iron armor on. Which is still going pretty strong. I mean, the helmet's almost gone. But I've been wearing this armor for a very long time, so I'm surprised it's lasted so long. Which is why, like, diamond armor? should last a lot longer, like a lot longer, at least four or five times longer, but I don't know if it's worth it to use my diamonds, because 
I feel like it's one of those things where I'm just, it's too good to use, you know? Because I don't want to make iron, I mean, I don't want to make diamond armor out of it, which is like the most expensive thing you can make with anything. Um, and uh, I don't want to use it for like tools all over the place because I'm like, it's diamonds, you know, I can't waste them. So, I don't know. <clears throat> but, uh, I'll, I will make diamond tools out of them. Like, once I need an axe, I'll probably just make a diamond axe, because I love having diamond axes. It makes it so much easier to gather wood, which makes, um, getting charcoal much easier. Um, especially if you've got a tree farm, because then, you know, you, your trees just grow all over the place, if it's big enough. And, um... Or the right kind. Because I've made tree farms before where I can fit them all. Um, I can fit a bunch of trees just like checkerboard pattern with torches. And they still grow. Like, they will all grow if you give them enough time. Um, assuming they aren't super trees. Like, if they grow into the big trees, then they will block other trees from growing underneath them. But assuming they're just regular trees. Or, like, I use birch trees exclusively. Um in my tree farms because it's they don't grow as tall so you don't get ridiculously tall um, trees that you have to go up climb up and chop down I mean first world problems right but nonetheless <clears throat> okay um, I wanna see something cuz I'm thinking I'm gonna do what Etho did and make my mob trap a, a drop trap <laughs> um, so they just they fall a certain distance so that I can kill them in one hit. Um, he had it so that you can kill them in one hit with an, a stone sword, which I probably won't do. I'll probably just do iron because I don't want to sit uh, sit there and uh, whack out. Yeah, okay, it works. It works. <laughs> I, I wanted to test to see if it would um, spawn things because they can only spawn two blocks below them. So any spiders that spawn will spawn in the air right now. And uh, that's what I wanted to see. So, there you go. Um, spawn more. Just because I'm losing health, uh, or I'm losing hunger, and I don't want to um, starve to death. I wonder if you can push spawners with pistons. Okay, how about if I do... How about if I do this? Because they may just be spawning on the spawner. Because that happens. So. Come on, anytime now. Did I not pick that up? I don't know. Okay. So it's spawning just fine. Um. I will be. I'll probably lower the ceiling. Um. If I'm going to be making an experience trap here, just because, uh. As it is, the spiders. Like, I don't want them to be able to spawn above the spawner. Um. I actually want to limit it to strictly the, um. Ah! Hey! Hey! hey. Watch it! I've just doomed myself, haven't I, by, by, uh, these things are just going to keep spawning, aren't they? Um, anyway, I've only got 30 seconds left. I'm going to make an, another video soon, like, where I continue working on this, because I know I can make this wider, actually, so I'm going to do that, but I think I'm going to cover up the top layers above this, because the spawner can spawn at this level where the spawner is, and the, and the level below it, I believe. So, if I were to cover up this whole layer right here, that would mean they would be forced to spawn underneath, so they would all fall the same distance. And spawners will spawn um, no matter what. Like, if there's one space where they can spawn, it'll spawn whenever it can. Like, it should have spawned right now. If I were to remove one of these torches, it would probably spawn immediately. But, um, yeah. So, if I come around here and... I think I, I think there's an 8x8 eight eight square around the spawners that I don't specifically know the um, 
because as you can imagine with this block this block wouldn't be the center in that case it would be like the center would be like this corner here or something so I'm I may have to figure that out. I might just make us an 8x8 or 9x9 room around it just so that way I know I've got all of the spaces um, I don't know I'm, I'm gonna see if I can edit uh, no I'll, I'll make another video after this one and uh, I'll continue doing this so I'll see you then thanks bye